Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. This time it's a scrapbook page, and I use my Big Shot to help add an accent to the page. Here's what you need to gather together to make this scrapbook page. You're going to need your Big Shot. You're going to need your platform, your two standard cutting plates. I used the big two tags die and I used my square lattice embossing folder. I used three punches, the word window punch, the modern label punch, and my one inch circle punch. For cardstock, I used Knight of Navy 12 by 12. I used some Whisper White and I used some Travel Journal Designer Series paper. I used uh, my Clear Circle Rhinestone Brads. These are really fun brads. They're several different sizes and you get a whole bunch in the container. I used a Clear Mount stamp set. I used Sentimental Journey and Clear Block C. And for ink, I used my Classic Pads Night of Navy and Pumpkin Pie. Now the reason I chose this page to create for you today is because it features several products that are available in the Summer Mini Catalog. The Summer Mini Catalog expires on Tuesday, August 31st. So this is sort of our last chance hurrah for any of the products in this mini catalog. Alright, I'm going to clear off my spot and I'll show you how to create the accent. Back in a moment. All right, I'm back and I'm going to show you how to make the accent for my scrapbook page. The first thing we're going to do is take some pumpkin pie cardstock and we're going to run it through the Big Shot using the Big's two tags die. So your sandwich is the bottom cutting plate, your die, your cardstock, the top cutting plate, and then run it through the Big Shot. There we go. Then what I'm going to do is this die cuts out two tags. I'm going to put this one aside for another project and I'm going to use this one and I'm going to run it through the Big Shot again. But this time I'm going to bring in my platform and put it on tab one. I'm going to have my bottom standard cutting plate. I'm going to take my tag and I'm going to put it inside the square lattice embossing folder. Close it up. So I've got my platform on tab one, my bottom standard cutting plate, my square lattice die with the, the tag inside, and then my top standard cutting plate. And I'm going to run that through. And what it does is it takes the tag and it texturizes it so that it's absolutely beautifully textured and looks like that. So it just adds a nice decorative touch to your scrapbook page. You can journal on it. You could add a strip of Whisper White cardstock here and one here so that when you open it up you have a surface, a nice smooth surface to write on. Let me bring in my scrapbook page and I will tell you what I did to create it. I started with my Knight of Navy and then I cut a strip of Travel Journal Designer Series paper that was the same length as my two photo blocks. I have another strip of the Travel Journal Designer Series paper in between just to separate the two photos. I've got some, this is actually was from a 12 by 12 piece so I had a piece left over and I created these photo corners or these scrapbook page corners. Over here I stamped the detour twice on scrap Whisper White cardstock and cut them out with my paper snips. And then I stamped and punched out with my one inch circle punch the three compass rose stamps, I guess. And then to complete it what I did was I added, I stamped and punched out the word journey, layered it on the Knight of Navy modern label punch image and then stuck a rhinestone clear brad through the entire page to hold the journaling tag on. And that's it. 
It's a fun page. It's very bright and really attractive, will catch the eye, and is great for anybody who has gone on a life journey or who's gone on a geographic journey. I'm Terry, and I'm Nuts About Stamping. Remember, you only have a couple days left to purchase items from the Summer Mini Catalog. So to do so, you can go to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While there, subscribe to my customer newsletter. I have a special edition of Christmas newsletters that will be coming out. They're called the 12 Weeks of Christmas, and they're only for my newsletter subscribers. So go to my blog to subscribe to my newsletter. You can also check out other samples, or you can place an order for some of these products that will be retiring soon. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.